In this video, we are going to discuss Nyquist stability analysis by using gain margin and phase margin. As I already discussed in the last class, so we can analyze the stability of the Nyquist plot by using gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency or gain margin and phase margin. So, in last class we already covered about gain crossover and phase crossover frequencies. Now, we will discuss about gain margin and phase margin and how we can ensure the stability of the system according to this gain margin and phase margin. Coming to gain margin, the gain margin is represented with gm. This is equal to the reciprocal of magnitude of the Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. So, here the gain margin is reciprocal of magnitude of Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. That means gm is equivalent to 1 by mpc where m is the magnitude of Nyquist plot. mpc represent magnitude of Nyquist plot at phase crossover frequency. Phase crossover frequency means the frequency at which the Nyquist plot crosses the negative real axis, intersect the negative real axis. The frequency at which the Nyquist plot intersect the negative real axis is called as phase crossover frequency. So, at this frequency whatever the magnitude of Nyquist plot is there, the reciprocal of that will gives you gain margin. And coming to phase margin, the phase margin is equal to the sum of 180 degrees plus phase angle at the gain crossover frequency. So, here phase margin is represented with PM and this is equal into 180 plus phase angle at which the gain crossover frequency, phase angle at gain crossover frequency. We know about gain crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which the magnitude of Nyquist plot is equivalent to unity. There we need to consider the phase angle. Then whenever the Nyquist plot magnitude is equivalent to 1, that particular frequency is called as so gain crossover frequency. At that gain crossover frequency, we need to consider the phase angle that is called as phase margin. If you added 180 degrees to that, you are going to get phase margin. After calculating gain margin and phase margin like this, we can ensure the stability of the system by using this gain margin and phase margin. So, we can analyze the stability of the control system. How we can ensure whether the system is stable or not means we are having different stability conditions. These are very very important con conditions. If gain margin is greater than 1 and phase margin is positive then we can say the system is stable. You can observe here when gain margin greater than 1 and phase margin is positive. If this reciprocal value is greater than 1 and this value is positive value then we can say the system is stable. And coming to second condition, if gain margin is equivalent to 1 and phase margin is equivalent to 0 degrees, gain margin that means magnitude is equivalent to 1 and here phase margin is equivalent to 0 degrees means phi gc is equivalent to minus 180 degrees. Whenever a system is said to be marginally stable system, then magnitude at phase crossover frequency will become 1 and phi gc phase at gain crossover frequency will become minus 180 degrees. So, in that case the system is said to be marginally stable. So, here when gm is equivalent to 1 and pm is equivalent to 0 degrees then we can say the system is marginally stable system. Coming to another condition, final condition of stability analysis. So, gain margin is less than 1 and phase margin is negative. In this case, the system is said to be unstable system. So, by considering all these conditions, you can analyze the system stability using Nyquist plot.